This was according to the managing director of GWA, Dr. Richard Vanmus Charles, who told media operatives earlier today that the samples collected from the Port Kaituma River revealed traces of mercury. As such, emergency interventions were put in place by drilling a well after it was realized that the well at Turn Basin was not functional. The Kaituma River, we've tested the water and it was, has proven to be high in mercury. In addition, the one well at Turn Basin is not functional and we have had to take emergency actions to have another well drilled which has, um, drilled, which has commenced at Turn Basin. He stated that while the well will be completed in a few weeks time, filters and jerry cans were provided to persons in the community. What we are doing actually is trying to ensure as far as possible until we can drill wells to provide jerry cans and filters so that the water access by, by the residents which are from creeks or rivers and we are testing that water that to ensure that um, the water is um, clean. Thomas Charles further noted that in relation to the treatment plants across the country, 22 of them complied with the standards that are set out by the World Health Organization. I think it is safe to say that with respect to the treatment plants over the period, 22 out of the 24 treatment plants were consistently compliant with WHO's uh, standards. We had uh, fluctuations in two cases. In the case of uh, in the case of Virgin Ugin and um, Central, um, so in essence, um, we're working and monitoring and testing very frequently to ensure that the water uh, that is available that leaves our 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 treatment plants are all in compliance with WHO standards. Residents are also reminded that the improper disposal of refuse and other unwanted waste contributes to these contaminations. Rupa Sinirain, The Evening News.